Hi, this is Jundo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. And it is a very good day because today we begin talking about Master Dogen's Bendoa. Something written in 1231 is a guide for us in this moment, not only to Zazen, but to all of life. You see, Master Dogen wrote this as a guide for how to sit Zazen. But it's much more than that. Because this Zazen that Master Dogen tasted was all of life, all of reality. So this is a guide for how to live amid all of reality. Now to me, the idea behind it is actually, well, not that hard to explain. But it takes a lifetime of practice, moment by moment. See. Most people conceive of Zazen as a way to find something, and it is. But what if you also tasted the Zazen as the finding? Not as an attempt to get someplace, as an attempt to get home, but as the home, as the arrival in each moment. See, most of us go through life looking, searching for answers. We feel inadequate. We're looking for the meaning of life. We're looking for that something to make our life complete. We want to find our home. Master Dogen, shortly before he wrote Bendowa, returned from China. He had gone to China looking for the answer. And what was that answer he found? According to the Bendowa, the answer is the practice of Zazen. Because imagine if you sat Zazen as what if you tasted Zazen as a perfect being and doing and action in that moment? If you could find a way to experience Zazen as perfect life, perfect realization, with nothing to add, nothing to take away, just the one place to be right then. If you could learn to experience it, that in Zazen, perhaps you can learn to experience this in all of your life, that in all of your life you're at home that in all of your life there's nothing to add, nothing to take away, that in all of your life you've already arrived, that in all of your life the searching, the searching is the finding. Bendowa can be defined as the title, a talk about pursuing the truth. Uchiyama Roshi said it's the practice of the truth, the practice of the way. You see, the searching, the doing, the sitting, the practicing is the realizing. Most people think that a Buddha sits Zazen in order to realize something, attain something. But what if you thought of the Zazen as the attaining and the attainment? The drive home is the arrival. The voyage, step by step by step, each step is arriving and arriving and arriving, always at home. The way to do this is to drop body and mind. Because what does the body and mind want? Body and mind always feel inadequate, always have desires, always make judgments, always think, I like this, I don't like that. But if we sit dropping the judgments, dropping the sense that there's something lacking, dropping the likes and dislikes, the self loses its job. It begins to soften. And what happens is the self is perfectly free because there's no resistance to the rest of the world. If you can find in Zazen a 
dropping of the resistance to yourself and the rest of the world, then the Zazen is realized as complete and your self in Zazen is free because there's no more friction, nothing lacking. So let's look at the words of Bendawa. We're going to be spending many weeks talking about this. Sometimes we'll go very fast, sometimes slow. But let's look at this first paragraph. All Buddha Tathagatas, those are the Buddhas who have arrived at the other shore. The image was that the Buddha is trying to cross to the other shore of enlightenment. What if you realize that other shore is here, is here? These Buddha Tathagatas, all of them together have been simply transmitting wonderful Dharma, wondrous Dharma. The truth, reality, their teachings, you see. And they have been actualizing Anuttara Samjak Sambodhi, supreme, perfect enlightenment. How do they actualize it in their lives? You're going to see that Master Dogen says it is the sitting of Zazen. If you can envision, if you can taste the action of sitting Zazen as supreme, perfect enlightenment with everything there, then the search is over. But there's a catch. It's not so easy that you can just say, oh, my life is enlightenment. I'm the Buddha. You have to drop the judgments, the likes and dislikes of the mind, because that's what a Buddha does, you see. And then, when you drop the likes and dislikes and judgments, you taste supreme, perfect enlightenment. It is the unsurpassable, unfabricated, wondrous method. He's talking about Zazen. This wonderful Dharma, these teachings, this truth, which has been transmitted only from Buddha to Buddha without devi deviation, and now to you, because guess who you are? Has the criterion of Jijuyu Zanmai, the self, perfectly free. Uchiyama Roshi says, it is the samadhi of self-fulfillment. Your self is fulfilled when you taste there's nothing lacking. When you drop all thought of something to add, something to take away, you're fulfilled. Uchiyama Roshi says, we can understand this samadhi of self-fulfillment and enjoyment as the samadhi or concentration on the self when it receives and accepts its function. In other words, yourself realize it's doing what a self should be doing it's perfectly at home there's nothing lacking it finds its true spiritual position in the world and how is the way to do this for expressing yourself deporting yourself freely in this samadhi practicing zazen in an upright posture is the true gate so shall we do that now? And we'll continue talking about this tomorrow. See this moment of Zazen as complete. See this moment of Zazen as supreme perfect enlightenment. See this moment of Zazen as just arriving home. And then see where it gets you.